Looking for a job? The key to finding work in 2015 is looking in the right places. Unemployment in the tri-state is actually coming down. Our Scott Wegener has one industry that is hunting for skilled workers, and you may be surprised at some of the best candidates. This may not look like your standard classroom. But these high school students at Scarlet Oaks Vocational School in Sharonville may be getting the education they need for a bright career. You can make anywhere from, you know, 30 to 60 to 70,000 a year. And instructor Philip Moore says, especially in this area, welding jobs are hot. A lot of the skilled veteran welders are retiring and they're having trouble finding the younger welders coming into the field. There's not enough coming into the field. The tri-state may have the jump on the rest of the country. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says nationwide the job outlook for welders is slower than average, but not here. There's a huge amount of opportunity for students in welding. And if you think jobs like this are just for men, just ask Sabrina Smith. I plan on being in the field and doing what I love. <laughs> Believe it or not, Moore says women may actually be better suited behind the mask than the guys. They're detail oriented, they're more driven, more focused, more precise. I think females make excellent TIG welders. Adult Education Director Carol Gittinger says there may be more than just a spark for those who are not cut out for college. Ten months, they're out in a job. Scott Wegener, Nine on Your Side, Sharonville.